your heart beats an estimated 3 billion times during your lifetime. But when a heart attack strikes, you wonder, will this be my last? Defibrillators send an electric charge through an erratically twitching heart, shocking it back into rhythm through electrodes placed on the chest. These life-saving machines rely on a capacitor, a device that stores electrical energy. It consists of two parallel metal plates separated by non-conducting material called a dielectric. In a defibrillator circuit, by closing the switch to position A, the capacitor will charge up to a voltage equal to the applied voltage. When shifted to position B, the capacitor rapidly discharges through the paddles to the person and helps get the heart beating normally. The charge on a capacitor is dependent on its capacitance and the applied voltage. In the case of standard defibrillators, this may be hundreds or thousands of volts. The capacitance of the capacitor depends on the size and the spacing of its plates. It takes energy to move charge onto a capacitor. The energy stored can be computed from, when applied to the heart, up to 360 joules of energy can be released into the person's body in one hundredth of a second. The use of a defibrillator within the first minute of collapse increases the survival rate to nearly 90%. These devices can clearly turn a bad day into the best day of your life.